excited are you for a senior night? Do you have your speech already planned out? Uh, I'm super excited and kind of sad. You know, it went by pretty fast, but uh, I, I enjoyed my time. So, and for my speech, I haven't really uh, planned it out yet. I might just go up to here. You were you were here just one year, but what was the experience like? It was a great experience. Uh, some of the best experiences I've had since I've been in college, uh, on and off the court. You know, I met a lot of, a lot of new new people here, um, on and off the court. So it's been great. When when you committed here, you know, it's to test yourself, play at the highest level, all that. Did, did you get what you were looking for out of yeah, coming here? Definitely, yeah. I came here to win. Uh, I know this is a winning program. It's always been like that, and uh, I definitely got what I was looking for. So. How, how was the, the road? I mean, through the injury and, and kind of the ups and downs that, that were part of this season. I mean, how do you handle all that? Uh, it's definitely been a journey, but uh, right now I can say that it's, it's been worth it all. Earlier in the season, like you said, I got hurt with the hand. I got hit with the hamstring injury. That took some time off. Uh, but you know, just getting back on my feet and just moving forward, I'm glad. I'm glad where I'm at right now. Can you describe the journey from Chicago and everything that led you to to, to, to today to tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it's it's been like a long journey uh, coming from Chicago. Like I wasn't really highly recruited coming out of high school. Really, I think Iowa was my biggest offer. Went to Iowa. Played four years there. Um, you know, was, uh, I had some ups and downs, uh, some some great experiences. Then I, I get to Kansas. It's something that you dream about as a kid, is watching Kansas, and it's kind of like unbelievable. So for me, to in my uh, college career here, is just it's a crazy feeling. What are you gonna miss most? Um, I'm gonna miss a lot of things, but I think most would have to be the intro. You know, and, um, and that was goes intro just all the fans screaming and yelling and it's going crazy what kind of crowd are you going to have here tomorrow night family and friends uh, and all yeah. that yeah my whole family is coming up and uh nieces and nephews so, about yeah. how many i'll probably uh eight eight or nine people first time for some of them um no actually they've all been here yeah, they've, they've all been here <laughs> hey, coach howard said uh, his first conversation recruiting you this time around, he apologized because he said he should have recruited you out of high school. Do you remember that conversation, and what, and what was it like being recruited by him? Uh, I actually never had that conversation with him, but um, he's great. Uh, great guy, great individual. Uh, off the court, he's cool. He's somebody you can just talk to about anything. Makes you feel comfortable. He's a great guy. So I love him. Do you, is there a special kind of vibe, connection that, that you and Coach Howard have, you know, two Illinois yeah. Guys. yeah, he's from Illinois too as well. Uh, he, I know he always recruits in, uh, in Chicago, brings a lot of Chicago guys out here. So yeah, I would say we we got a pretty special connection. Is it was the decision to come to Kansas? Was that an easy one right away when they made the offer, or with the other offers you had and choices, was it kind of a difficult one? Um, it wasn't easy. Obviously, like I went, to, I committed to Arkansas first, and then he committed and came here. So I wouldn't say it was easy. Um, but I'm, I, I made the right choice, I think so. Kansas has a lot of streaks of winning. One of them is they've won 36 straight years on the last game of the year, the senior day. Uh, to speak to that, is it, can you even wrap your head around that? Um, yeah, I knew that coming here, Kansas is, has a, a good condition, a good, um, sorry. They have, we have a good um, tradition of winning here, so. I know that, um, I believe that when you said that. So uh, I know we're gonna play hard tomorrow. So I think we What about win. trying to win the league title? What you could it? wrap it up Wednesday. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's something that we talked about in the locker room. Just staying focused, to see who's a good team, they just be Baylor. So um, I think we're locked in and we'll, we'll get the job done. Is it when you were at Iowa, I guess, what did you think of when you thought of Kansas and now that you've experienced it for a year? Do you think the same thing, or do you think something totally different about this program? Was like when I was that? playing Iowa? Yeah, like when you're at Iowa and someone say Kansas, what would maybe you think of? And now that you've experienced being here, is it how different or the same, is it? Uh, it's exactly what I exact. I mean, uh, like portrayed it to be uh, just a winning program. You play, you got to play hard. It's a lot of fun. It looks fun on TV when they play. It's, it is a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, winning is fun, but it's everything that I expected. What do you remember about TCU first time around? I think you uh, knocked in three three pointers in that one. You held them to a low score. Yeah, um, I remember that game. Uh, 
we almost let them get back in the game. So uh, at any point they can they can be in the game. So we just got to come out and play hard for 40 minutes. What's your major? I have American studies. Isaiah, it's kind of a weird off the wall question. The National Association of Collegiate Players came out on Saturday and said they would encourage NCAA teams going into the March Madness tournament maybe to not have fans there for some games. Would that be weird for you guys to play games in March Madness without fans? Yeah, that would be weird just because it's different. It's never been like that, so I think that would be kind of weird. All right, Isaiah, thank you. Thank you.